Hey guys, Cha Chan here, or Triceratops, same person. Today's video I'm very excited because I have here the Artifex J Kotobukiya Yami Yugi figure. I'm so excited to open this. Uh, this is a second hand one, so it's it's been opened previously by the previous owner, but this is my first time seeing this figure unboxing. I'm so excited. Uh, I don't want to ramble too much in first it, so let's get straight to opening him. So since it's already open, I don't think I'm going to need any kind of scalpels or scissors. So I should be able to just open the box. Uh, the box has you know, damage because it's, it's an older figure. I'm not sure when they made this. Uh, I don't know, I'll put it on screen when this was first released. This is a first edition one, I believe. So let's, uh, let's pull him out the box. Oh, that's so cool oh my gosh I did not know this but inside the box it's not just holographic it's got like hieroglyphics in there I don't know if you can see it I'll get some footage of it to put in but oh my gosh that's so cool <laughs> okay so the box really cool now let's open him comes with some instructions to be able to just peel them off there we go Oh, 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 the puzzle's falling. <laughs> okay, he is open. So this is like a little keychain that came with the first release, I believe. And uh, I really wanted to get the first edition release of him, since I think that the big Millennium Puzzle looks really good on the base alongside him. So let's pull that out. Oh, look at that, is it? it feels sticky. I'm not sure why it is sticky. Uh, I will. I'll wipe it. <laughs> oh, why is it sticky? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> but it, it's nicely detailed. Have a look at that. Nice detail on there. Uh, I'm not sure why it's sticky. I will. Um, I'll wipe that. Let me put that over there. Well, hopefully the rest of the figure isn't sticky. So, uh, so far so good. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, he's so cool. Look at him. Let me bring him close to the camera. He's so cool. I love this figure so much. Originally, when I first saw this figure, I wasn't too keen. I thought it looked a little bit strange, but uh, it's kind of growing on me. <laughs> uh, behind this bit of plastic is his jacket, which I will be putting on him. Oh, his jewel disc just clips on, I see. I also own the Joey Kotobukiya figure and he comes with a spare arm whereas this Yugi here comes with just the jewel disc so this will uh, slide onto his arm. There's the tiny little Millennium Puzzle which is struggling to be focused on my camera. It's very small. You'll see it when it's on, on Yugi. And he comes with two lots of cards. Well not two lots, he comes with uh, one little fan of cards and one individual card so you can hold both of those and that's everything out of the packaging box so I'll put this back in the cardboard box okay now we have to put him together so here's the instructions uh, yeah I was I was right uh, turns out his bracelet is a separate piece to his hand so it might be better if I wiggle them separately I don't know I was scared I don't want to break him I don't want to break him you can actually see on his arm there is some paint staining which would have been from the jewel disc but it's not terribly noticeable so I'll probably display him with the disc on as well since you know that that is how he's posed so um let's continue trying to wiggle his arms off Oop, there we go got it might help if it wasn't so cold in this room as well. So if I could manage to get the bracelet off his hand, which I'm really struggling to do, this jewel disc just kind of slots onto his arm and you line, you make sure you've lined up the pegs, like the, um, the insert holes for the pegs, and it doesn't go on all the way, it just kind of sits there, I think. I'm not really sure how far that's meant to go in. Um, you know, I don't want to break him. But, you know, he, it would go on like that and then you would be able to slot his hand in like that but I can't get the other bracelet off because it's just so stiff. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, I did unbox Joey the other the other week and I was just in awe of how detailed these jewel discs are and I, I still am like look at all that detail it's so cool well if I can't get his uh, hand to cooperate with me maybe we can shut that back on for now um, maybe I can get his jacket on instead how do you take how do you take how do, how do you do this so I believe what I'm meant to do is wiggle his head off. Oh, I really don't want to. It's so scary. Okay, so his head is also incredibly stiff and I'm terrified to break him. So, um, I think, I think, um, I might just have to do B-roll of him dressed up properly. This video was a disaster. <laughs> well, maybe I can at least get his cards in his hands to show you that. That's that's what we're gonna have for today, um, until I film some B-roll with him with his other uh, accessories on, because I really don't want to break this figure. If you're curious, I paid £95 for him. Um, yeah, that's about an average kind of price for him. The Kotobukiya figures are really nice. This one has you know, a little bit of like damage here and there because it is an older figure it's a second hand one as well uh, like there's a little bit of paint scuffed off of one of his um one of his collar pieces there but that's fine it's not really noticeable it's on the back of the figure i do love how they added a bit of um like purple shading to the hair i think that looks really cool I wasn't too keen on the Yugi figure originally from the Kotobukiya line, but it's kind of grown on me over time and, you know, I bought it. <laughs> he has, like, a metallic finish on his yellow fringe, which is interesting. And his hair is very spiky, it's, it's very spiky to the touch. There doesn't appear to be any shading on his black shirt, but there is shading on pretty much all of the other pieces of the figure. I love how they glossed the eyes, there's a, like a little glossy finish on those. I do think that the mouth looks a little bit awkward from some angles, but you know, it, it's okay. Like I said with my Joey figure, I am surprised that the base isn't a solid piece, it's just like a little um, thin kind of plastic, well, it's not thin plastic, but it's a uh, you know, it's, it feels cheaper than the rest of the figure. The figure is heavy, the base is light, and I feel like it might benefit from a heavier base. But, you know, that's, that's just me. I do like the details on the base, though. I prefer this to just like a little, um, like a circle base for a scale figure. I think this looks good for a scale figure like this. Though I'm not too bothered about bases. <laughs> One of the things I wasn't too keen on with the Kotobukiya figures is that his eyes are more of a red colour rather than purple because I prefer my Yugi's to have their purple eyes but I think this is more true to the manga I believe I'm not really sure I haven't read the manga, I've only watched the anime I do wish that they would make a Yugi version like, yeah, this, this is Yugi but I mean this is Yami Yugi I wish they'd make a regular Yugi version of the Kotobukiya figures but this is an older line so I don't know um, if they ever would. <laughs> Since I can't get his jacket on right now, let's have a look at it. It's quite heavy as well, it's, it's quite weighty. Um, I mean, it's not it's not weighing a ton, but it is heavier than you'd think, I, I think at least. Uh, the paint job is really nice, it's got lots of shading on it. I love the, the folds and the, the sculpt, it's just, it's very nice. They even shaded the bottom a little bit, not, not terribly much because you don't really see it, but they did shade a little bit here and there. Um, did I mention I wasn't really too keen on the whole glossy thing at first? Like, like it's it's very glossy, and I used to think it looked a bit strange, but do you? It's kind of grown on me. I think it looks good. I do wish I could get his head off, and then I could put this on, and we could put them together properly. But alas, it is it's not happening right now, and I don't want to break him when I just unboxed him. <laughs> so I'll do that off camera when I'm not feeling as pressured to, you know. Be on camera, you know. <laughs> I can't even get the Millennium Puzzle on because I can't remove his head. 
All right, enough rambling about the figure and how I can't disassemble him to reassemble him. Uh, let's go on to some B-roll and I'll probably record some extra final thoughts and just general things about the figure and my, um, my thoughts. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I think I've figured out why the Millennium Puzzle is sticky. Uh, the paint seems to be rubbing off. I, I went to wash it and it just kind of... The paint, I mean, there's no, like, visible bald patches in the paint job, but, um, yeah. I think that's just a product of age of the thing. Uh, nothing to do with the cellar, just, um, yeah, that's a bit strange. <laughs> um, I think I'll probably spray this with, like, Mr. Super Clear or something. Just, you know, get that, uh, stickiness to go away. Mmm. Ignore the mess in the background first would make a workroom thing. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd add in the video here, I've, I've disassembled him. <laughs> it took a while. I had, uh, I bought in a little heater to heat up the room a bit and I kind of plonked him just a distance away so he could get a little bit of heat on him to soften the plastic just a little bit because it was freezing in here. Anyway, um, so the, the collar is a separate piece which would go oh, well, on his on his neck. Um, the peg for his neck is actually really long. You see how long that is? So this is nice and sturdy in his neck. Um, but also I managed to get <laughs> I managed to get the bracelet off his hand there. It took some brute force. Anyway, so this piece will go on to the shoulders and then I can put the head on and I guess I'll just assemble him and we can have a look at him. Well, after quite a bit of um, struggling, he is together. He is assembled and he's going to stay like this forever probably. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll be displaying him without any of the extra bits. You know, we'll just put his bracelet and his regular um, choker collar necklace in the box again. So here he is. And uh, this I will display on the base when it's unstickified. <laughs> Alright, so I've taken a bunch of videos of Yugi with and without his getup on, and I'm displaying him currently with all of his things on. I'm not gonna disassemble him. It was so cold in my workroom that I had to, you know, you saw I had to plonk him in front of the heater to heat up. <laughs> Poor thing, it was too cold. <laughs> Anyway, so I think I've actually solved the Millennium Puzzle sticky situation, literally. <laughs> uh, I asked on my figure collection what people thought and uh, the consensus is gold paint tends to go sticky over time for some reason, it's just the chemicals in it I guess just don't really last very well. Um, not all gold paints but most of them apparently. Um, anyway, I received some feedback that I probably should not use Mr. Super Clear. We don't know what the paint on the Millennium Puzzle is based on and it's probably a lacquer based paint so you don't want to spray it with another lacquer. You don't want it to eat through the paint and damage it or bubble or anything so probably best to avoid that this time. Um, if I knew for sure what the paint was I'd you know, be able to say for sure. Anyway, I think the best option, which some people have agreed with me on, is going to be uh, doing a few layers of watered down Sculpey Gloss Glaze. So I think I'll have to do that. That might be the best option. And that's a water-based varnish gloss thing, so it, it should be should be safe. Should. I mean, I ran this underwater and the only thing that happened was some of the paint came off onto the towel. There's no damage to the paint, it's just, it's just a bit sticky. <laughs> so I think I'll have to do a gloss glaze varnish on it, but, you know, water it down so it's not glossy. You can still see the the paint through it. Anyway, I took some fo photos and uh, videos of Joey with Yugi. I love how these two look together. I've put them in my taxidermy cabinet for the time being. I think I want to reorganize my taxidermy cabinet to be able to incorporate figures alongside my taxidermy and uh, I'll probably put some of my toys in there as well because I collect toys as well. Uh, so yes, I think I'm figuring out how I want to display my collection until I get a, a second cabinet. <laughs> I have too many toys and figures 
and not enough space to put them. Anyway, uh, here's my collection so far of Yu-Gi-Oh's. There are five of them and there's two more on pre-order. What am I doing with my life? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts and it's not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next one and bye!